Today I'm going to show you how I made this kinetic text donut here in Blender. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is click on the Z axis. So it's going to show it from the top, press Shift plus A. I'm going to go to Mesh, Select, Torus. And down here at the corner, we got the Torus settings. Let's go to the Major Radius, and I'm going to decrease it a little bit more. And here you can adjust the Major and Minor segments. From here, I'm going to go to UV Editing, and here we got the donut. And press and hold Alt, click on one of these lines. And press the letter U and I'm going to select Mark Seam. Press the letter A to select everything. Let's press the U again. Let's go to Unwrap and select Angle Based. And check this out, it unwrapped it like this. Now we're going to go here to the UV Editor and I'm going to go up and I'm going to select the UV Select Mode and I'm going to go and select one of these squares. And I'm going to select the UV Select Mode here and I'm going to select one of these lines and I'm going to press SY0. So basically it's going to need to make it straight, but it's straight already. I'm going to do the same thing on this, S, Y, 0. And we're also going to need to make the left and the right side. So the left one is not perfectly vertical. So I'm going to press S, X, 0. So now it's straightened out. I'm going to do the same thing with the right, S, X, 0. And I'm going to go and choose the face mode. Let's select this guy. And I'm also going to press A. So it's going to highlight everything. Press the letter U. And I'm going to select follow active quads. And here I'm going to go with a length average. Click OK. Zoom out. We're also going to need to fit this into the UV editor. So I'm going to go to the UV and I'm going to check constraint to image bounds. And now you can scale it down. I'm going to press the letter S and I'm going to try to position it into the center like so. I'm going to bring it on the top. All right, so now I'm going to go and add some texture on this. I'm going to go down here. So when the arrow is going to transform into this little plus, you can drag it and I'm going to drag it up and I'm going to split the screen. Well, let's go and change this to Shader Editor, press the letter N, click on the New, press Shift plus A, type in Image Texture, and I'm going to go Shift plus A, Mapping, and I'm going to add Texture Coordinate. There you go. And now we're going to connect the UV to the Vector, Vector to Vector, and Color to Base Color. And here you can upload your pattern. I'm going to click on Open, and I'm going to select the text that I'm going to use, click on Open, and I'm also going to go here, scroll, and I'm going to select the viewport shading. And it looks something like this. I'm going to click on the Z so it's going to view it from the top. And I'm going to go to the UV editor and bring this down and check this out. It is going to position the pattern. Probably going to go something like this. And here at the rotation, you got the XYZ rotation. You also can stretch this or I'm going to arrange this side a little bit better. And now but least I'm going to animate this. So I'm also going to split the screen. I'm going to go here, change it to timeline. And I'm going to set it to 200 frames. And I'm going to bring the frame all the way to zero. And we can rotate the text here with the Y location. So I'm going to press the letter I. So it's going to start the keyframes. And I'm going to bring all the way to 200 frames. And I'm going to go back to the Y. For example, I'm going to type in 1. And press the letter I again. And you can select the mapping. And this way it's going to highlight the keyframes. And check this out. Now it is animating. You can hit play. And this is how it looks.